And we're back to the finale of Resident Evil Director's Cut. Let's just activate this thing here or anywhere else in the heliport. I think it really doesn't matter. But I'd much rather do it here. While he's taking his time. <laughs> Come on, rescue me! I'm here! This place is gonna blow! Huh? Whoa! It cannot be! Oh boy! I guess the epic battle of the last boss is still in place, and he runs now, which sucks. Thanks, Brad. I'll use that. Indeed, the most powerful weapon in the whole game. The bazooka, or rocket launcher, with four shots, but you can only use one if you hit him. What are you looking at? <laughs> he was a little distracted. That's why he died. Yeah, I guess you have four shots. I don't think you can screw up. Otherwise, it's game over. Well, this is the end. Now the battle is truly over. And here is the final cutscene. I will explain something as it goes on. If you don't do it right, um, when they escape, like this, the base explodes. So there's Chris, Jill, back to live action. Here he sees Rebecca Chambers sleeping, and there's another ending, I believe, that when he looks right next to her, it's Barry Burton, the guy that you can only see on Jill's run. Well, here's the thing. Um... That is supposed to be the true ending, is that all of them survived, including Barry. So, uh, technically in the ending, the only thing that, that you should see different is that Barry's right there on the helicopter with them. So that's it. You know, uh, I don't know how to get that ending, of course. <laughs> I don't know if I have to play the game on harder mode, or I'm supposed to, I don't know. I haven't done research on it. And here's another thing. Um, on Jill's run, when you uh, meet up with Barry throughout the game, he helps you, blah blah blah. This is spoilers. If you wanna play the game on Jill mode and you don't wanna know about this, then you can just turn off the video right now. But for those who wanna know, here it is. Barry throughout the whole game helps out Jill when I told you that when you get the shotgun that the the ceiling is coming down he comes in saves you blah 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 uh, basically at the end you when Wesker is uh, revealing himself that he is a betrayer that he works for Umbrella then he reveals that Barry is also working for him now the thing is that Barry is not working for him because he's bad I mean he's working for him because he has blackmailed him with his family he says that somehow he has uh, his family monitor and they're gonna pay if he doesn't obey now there are different endings there's one ending where Barry actually betrays Wesker and he dies for it so and things like that, but Barry doesn't die in, in the real story, so... Um, 
you know, in the end he just regrets ever listening to Wesker's blackmail, and he turns on him and then helps uh, Jill and the others escape. So that's basically the real ending, but that's the only thing you guys miss from the Jill run, which, by the way, I also don't know how to save Barry, but I heard of some rumors of the part where the snake uh, in the piano room where he breaks down the hole. When you fall down with Jill, uh, Barry says that he's going to come back with a rope, and if you don't wait for him, then you alter the ending, so... You can try that if you have the game, but that's pretty much all I know. It's really all based on choices and whatever. But at least you know now that that's the only thing you miss, and the rest you just already know, you know. Jill, if you play as Jill, it'll be as if Chris is the one that is in prison. And the game is going to be very much easy, and you'll have more bullets more uh, inventory space, you name it. Well, that's uh, pretty much it. The next Let's Play will be Resident Evil 2. Uh, I'm working on something with the game. I, I don't know right now if I could pull it off. Pull it off. But my uh, Greatest Hits CD is a little damaged. And I want to unlock the four survivors so that you guys can see the whole story. Uh, right now you don't know what I'm talking about, but for those who know, that's what I'm trying to get at. Because uh, it has to do a little bit about the storyline, and it's also mentioned on part on Resident Evil 3. So, I might as well show you that as well. So, I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, I'll see you guys in Resident Evil 2. It was really fun. And this has been Usumashi. Take care. Bye-bye.